Hello doers and welcome back. My name is Jose Ignacio. Now at Stealthy Wood, we pride ourselves on our high quality furniture products. But how do we keep those safe? Well, to keep our products safe in transit, we're gonna be using sturdy packaging and also protective foam inserts. So we actually found a vendor that's offering an awesome bulk discount on those items, but it's for a year's supply of packaging. And let's be real, we don't need all of that at once. So introducing blanket orders. These are long-term purchase agreements with our vendors to receive products over time instead of one big shipment. So to snag that discount without the hassle of storing a year's worth of packaging, which don't get me wrong, is pretty hard. We're gonna break our order into three smaller deliveries. We're gonna time these with our busiest periods when customer orders will tend to peak. So enough chit chat, let's see how we can set up a blanket order inside of Odoo. Okay, so first up, we're actually gonna to need to enable the feature by going to the purchase apps configuration and settings menu over here. So in the order section that I'm at right there, make sure that the purchase agreements option is ticked off. And if it isn't, be sure to tick that checkbox and then hit the save button in the top left before moving on. It's not gonna work if you don't do that. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's create a blanket purchase order for plastic packaging material by going to the order subheading up here at the top and then select purchase agreements. Now we're going to select new and then we can get started. So I wanna actually skip down here to this area, this field that says agreement type. Make sure that blanket order is selected. If you select purchase template, it looks different and that's how you'll know. So blanket order. Then after that, we're gonna go back up here. We need a vendor. Let's pick fantastic plastic, haven't done them before. And then let's move on over here to the agreement validity field. In here, we'll define when the discounted price and blanket order is effective. We're actually gonna set the from field over here to, in our case, January 1st, 2024. And observant of doers, you've probably noticed it's not actually January right now. I know. Well, that's because blanket orders usually cover purchases spanning a length of time. You're gonna see in just a moment why I had a time travel to make this blanket order start at the beginning of the year. So up next, we're going to set the end date. And this time it's gonna be at the end of the year, which we're also not at yet. Perfect. Okay, we're done with that. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna add the bulk, well, actually the huge bulk order for Stealthy Wood's entire year's worth of packaging material inside of our product section. So select add a line. And my very first one in my case is gonna be EPS foam. I'm gonna need in this case, 30,000 of them. And my unit price for them is 0.25. Okay, 25 cents. And I'm gonna add the rest of them using magic. Okay, now that our blanket order is all filled up with that Odu magic, I think it's time for us to confirm this over there. And now that the blanket order is fully complete and confirmed, let's split this bulk order into three. So let's click on, in our case, the new quotation button at the top and a new RFQ is created using the products and prices we included in the blanket order. Here, the only thing we need to do is set a date that we'd like these items to arrive and how many we want. So since in our case, our highest volume of orders are in February, July, and December. I'm gonna create three separate RFQs with the order deadline, which we have up here in the top, and our expected arrival date one month before those busy months. So I'm gonna have enough packaging material to send out all of those orders in time. So for this first RFQ, I'm gonna set the order deadline that we have up here at the top to January 15th, 2024, and hit apply. And then our expected arrival in this case should be two days after that because Amazon Prime, two day shipping, something like that. Okay, now once that we do that, I'm gonna set the quantities for the products below to, in our case, we're gonna pick for the very first one, the EPS foam, 10,000, which happens to be a third. And then for the next one, if you recall, we had a very big amount of this one. So we're gonna pick a thousand because we had 3000. And then for this very last one, we're gonna have 200. Respectively, those are the thirds. And then once that we're done there, we're gonna hit confirm order. And bing, bam, boom, we're done with that. Okay, so now I need to create two more RFQs like this. And to save you doers even more time, I'm gonna do it off screen real quick. Boom, editing magic and a time skip. So with our RFQs created, having selected our little gear icon and duplicate, and then we updated our order deadlines, we can now move on. And that's how I did it really quickly. So I'm actually gonna click on our blanket orders breadcrumbs to go back over here. And we can actually see that we've used this to generate our three RFQs up at the top now. So when I select that smart button over here, we see an overview of all of the RFQs for this blanket order. And as you can see at the bottom of the total column, 
we can actually see how much that we've actually spent this year on packaging for the whole year, which is kind of amazing. So over here inside of our status column, well, I could see whether the RFQ happens to be in draft mode, happens to be sent, or it happens to be a purchase order and is confirmed in that type of situation. And we can use the expected arrival dates that we have over here on our right to keep track of when the next shipment of products will arrive. Then by clicking the blankets order breadcrumb, in our case, back over here, we can actually see something cool. Our ordered column over here has been updated where prior it said zero. It now shows us that one third of our year's packaging has arrived. That's because we haven't confirmed only one of the three RFQs in the blanket order. That appears to be a problem. So now we're going to have to individually bill each purchase order in the blanket order. So I'm going to click on that RFQs slash order smart button at the top center again. And then we need to select one of these unconfirmed ones. So let's start with our very first one. Okay, now I'm going to speed through our regular Odoo purchase flow since you Odooers can get the full rundown of that in our purchase basics video. So we're going to click on the word confirm order over here, then receive products, then we validate them. Okay, next, I'm actually going to click on the breadcrumb to go back to the purchase order. Very simple right there. Then we're going to select create bill then confirm that as well. And then, oh, wait, actually, I forgot about that one small old doopsie. We need a bill date. So in the bill date field, I'm going to select today's date. And then now when I select confirm, we're good to go. See, even Jose makes mistakes. I got ahead of myself going fast. So next up, I need to complete the payment to the vendor by clicking on register payments. And then we go through here and select create the payments. Oh my God. And would you look at that green banner right there telling us we have paid everything and the bill is paid for. So I'm going to click on our RFQs request for quotations breadcrumbs once again. So back on this page, I'm going to click on our little sliders icon that we have on the far right, right there. And we're going to make our billing status appear right there, which is kind of useful. And would you look at that? We can see our view. So up next, I'm going to quickly process the last RFQ. And then we're going to go confirm order, receive products. And then we're just going to go through that. So to close a blanket order, we just need all the RFQs to be purchase orders. They do not need to be billed yet. So now what ends up happening when I go back over here to our B-O-O-X right there. Look at that. There you have it, Odoors. That's how you can use Odoo to place bulk orders, configure several arrival dates for them, and keep track of your vendor bills all through the purchase app. To learn more, be sure to check out our other videos about purchase agreements or learn how to reconcile your payments. Thank you for watching. See you next time, Odoors. And as you can tell, everything is ordered. Go grab a snack.